the health sector is celebrating two landmark birthdays today, 40 years of Aboriginal community controlled health services in the Northern Territory and 20 years of its peak body, AMSANT. The Alice Springs Convention Centre is hosting hundreds of delegates at a two-day conference called Our Health, Our Way. Today, people from all sides of the Aboriginal health sector have been celebrating its strong history. It's my great privilege to be uh, the MC for this uh, one-off important historical event celebrating 40 years of self-determination, 40 years of uh, the Central Australian Aboriginal Congress and 20 years of the Aboriginal Medical Services Alliance of the Northern Territory. Congress is really one of the best examples in the world of a comprehensive primary health care service and we would not have been able to get to where we are today without the support and advocacy of AMSANT. It started with Congress and now we've got quite significant players in on the landscape, you know, playing their bit in terms of closing the gap. And, you know, that, that's been major achievements achieved by Congress, by Danila Dilber Health Service in Darwin, by Willie Will and Jang Health Service in, in Catherine and, and in Guinea. All of us have played a role, not just in getting uh, the necessary financial support, but we've played a big role in terms of the policy debate uh, that needed to happen at a national level. One of the most important things that have happened in the 40 years of Aboriginal community control here in the Northern Territory is that we started with two or three Aboriginal health services coming together right here in Alice Springs, having a meeting to discuss how they're going to influence government, advocate for more Aboriginal health services, and put a business case to government about the idea or a model of Aboriginal community controlled health services governed by Aboriginal people, making local decisions. We've got approximately 38 to 40 Aboriginal clinics, not only in the major towns, but remote, some of the remotest parts of the Northern Territory. One of the biggest achievements 40 years of Aboriginal community controlled health is that it's consistency with the community over you know, four decades and that's something which consistency of services or provision of um, a, you know, a place, organisation, that's something which our, our mob don't all, always have access to and so 40 years brings consistency, it brings um, you be able to rely on uh, the organisation and the other the next next generations are going through the services now so that kind of has that linkage between family to family. I'm Lorena Walker reporting for Karma Radio Online News. Karma Radio. Get turned on.